down here on the creek. Oh, got him. Nice. There we go. Oh, lost him. Wait, hold on. Wait, he's coming back. That's crazy. Hang on, hang on. Nice, got him. First one of the morning. Alright, get back out there. It's about a foot deep. These fish are just stack up in here when they're spawning. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, nice. Cool. Yeah, it's about a foot deep. I got my cork about nine inches. He looks like a keeper. Tried to get away. Yeah, he's a keeper. Nice. Pitch it out along this bulkhead. Sometimes they stack up right here. Nice. It is on this morning, y'all. He looks like he'll be a keeper too. Right in the top of the mouth. Yep, he's a keeper. Putting together a stringer. Get a little further. See what happens. Love this spot. Super easy to get to. Oh, nice. <laughs> right along the bulkhead. That's a good one, too. Yeah, yeah, that's a keeper for sure. Hope y'all are enjoying the video. I sure am happy that crappie decided to show up a week earlier this year with this warm weather. A couple weekends ago was my birthday. My fiance and I got tickets to go to the Los Lonely Boys concert at the House of Blues. It was a great show, but there were some things that have been pulling at my heart, and I've been praying about how to bring them up. So if you don't know, there are a couple of venues in the House of Blues complex downtown, and the venue next to ours had another concert going on, and lined up outside the door was teenage kids wearing clothes with pentagrams, upside-down crosses, depictions of mass murderers, and the devil. I'm not going to name the group they were lined up to see, because I don't want to promote them in any way. But the genre of the group was called horrorcore, a genre I didn't know existed, but its declared purpose was to oppose Christianity and anything we declare righteous. It hurt my heart to see so many lost kids, Katie and I prayed over them as we waded through the crowd to get to our venue. The venue even had symbols of every other major world religion hanging above the stage, but it didn't have a cross. Why? Because the enemy isn't going to have a cross there, because that cross is what releases us from the power of sin. The Apostle Paul tells us, But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6, 22-23 Many people don't realize that our children are getting caught up in some awfully sinful genres of music because we play it off as theatrics, and kids are kids. They're going to rebel and like that kind of thing. Some people don't realize that Satan has a huge influence on the music of our day. People talking about and literally selling their souls for early, earthly fame, they dismiss as just selling tickets. But the enemy has been selling us humans deceitful and treacherous ideas since he told Eve to eat the fruit and she'd be like God. Adam and Eve were told by Satan in Genesis 3-5, God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. That's why they couldn't eat from the tree. 
They took the bait, believing the devil, and wanted to be like God, so they were banished from God's presence just a few verses later, the same way we are today. The enemy also offered Jesus the world. In Matthew 4, 8 through 9, Next the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. I believe he is selling the same lie to these people who play this music, and by doing so, they deceive these poor kids in the process. Jesus knew Satan offered him temporary earthly glory in exchange for his eternal glory, something God offered us through Jesus, because fortunately Jesus told Satan to get away from him and led a sinless life to die in our place, giving us a chance through him to spend eternity with God again. Satan is not a little red guy with a pitchfork who is sitting in hell mad at God, even though that's who he wants us to think he is. Scripture says he is beautiful, dazzling, and walking the earth like us humans, since he and his demons were cast out of heaven. They have been deceiving man since our creation, and I don't believe they stopped 2,000 years ago. It's not until Jesus returns that he casts Satan into the lake of fire, along with the demons and all who have followed him since the beginning of time. So don't be naive and think he's not offering people things on earth if they do his bidding. And his bidding is to keep man away from the relationship with God. So if he can do that through music, he will, and he has. Y'all be careful what you, li what you and your children listen to. The devil knows he can trip us up through music, just like he does through TV and the internet. Your children's eyes and ears are more imprintable than most realize. This is why scripture says, And anyone who welcomes a little child on my behalf is welcoming me. But if you cause one of these little ones who trust in me to fall into sin, it would be better for you to have a large millstone tied around your neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. Matthew 18, 5-6 the judgment that awaits these musicians, movie stars, and even everyday people is terrifying to me. I plead with y'all, if you haven't done so already, to submit your lives to Christ before it's too late. And if you have any questions about the process, please reach out, and I'd love to point you in the right direction. Until next time, please pray for these children and stay tuned for more Fishing with the Mission.